Moving to Plano, Texas, let's talk about the five best neighborhoods. Hide your kids, hide your wives, and hide your dogs because I'm selling houses and everything else under the sun to get into one of these neighborhoods. Nothing is safe. Nothing. All right, that's a good boy. That's a good. If you're new to the channel, my name is Mike Harrison and I'm a licensed realtor in Texas. I've helped many clients buy and sell right here in North Texas. So if you want to know what it's like to work, live and play in the Dallas Metroplex, go ahead and hit subscribe, support the channel and stay tuned for weekly videos every Thursday. Let's go ahead and dive into Plano, Texas. And before we get started, you might be wondering, Mike, why are you wearing that black Jordan t-shirt? The truth is, I went out with some friends last weekend who've been watching some of these videos and they're like, Dude, you wear the same white, blue, and black Nike polo every video. Change it up a little bit. So, I'm not necessarily changing it up. Still going black, still going Nike, or Jordan in this case, but I'm going a little bit more laid back in this video. So that being said, woo wee, man. This first one is a home run hitter. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have to sell some more homes to get invited to this party. This is a crazy neighborhood, and yes, you've probably heard of it before. We're talking about Willow Bend. This area has huge trees, large, beautiful homes, and very spaced out lots. So Willow Bend is arguably the most prestigious neighborhood in all of Plano. Right in this area, you also have Willow Bend Lakes, Glen Eagles Country Club that runs pretty much in the middle of this area, and shops at Willow Bend that offer some of the highest end shopping in North Texas, with over 125 stores and located at the intersection of West Park Boulevard and the Dallas North Tollway. In the MLS for the past year, this area has had 65 homes Home sale and they've sold for as low as seven hundred forty thousand to a high of four point four five million dollars the house that sold for four point four five million only lasted on the market for four days highlighting the type of demand that this area has even with a multi-million dollar listing these houses range from 3200 square feet to as high as 8400 square feet you're also about 25 minutes from downtown dallas if you take the tollway many architectural styles over here a great family community including some greenbelt walking paths this neighborhood feeds into centennial elementary school renner middle school and plano west and shepton high schools this is one of those areas of dallas you could spend half a day just driving through and get instantly motivated to level up your game so you can get in one of these homes which by the way if you ever want to get in one of these homes i happen to know a guy The next neighborhood we have on the top five neighborhoods of Plano is gonna be Timberbrook. Timberbrook is located on the northeast side of Plano, just east of 75, right there by the Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll love this park as it's 800 acres in Plano's largest park. The pond at Oak Point Park is open for kayaking, canoeing, and stand-up paddle boarding from sunup to sundown. You can even go zip lining here at the Go Ape Treetop Adventure Course. Over the last year, we've had 20 homes in this neighborhood sell between $455,000 and $855,000. And the size of these homes range between 1,870 square feet and 4,100 square feet. These homes were built between the 90s and the mid 2000s, so they could use some upgrades, but they still have great architecture. You're real close to Spring Creek Parkway, so you have plenty of dining options right over there off 75 and Spring Creek. Plus, if you want to get your workout in, there's an LA Fitness right there at that intersection as well. This is North Plano, so you're within minutes, maybe five. 5-10 minutes away from the uh, all the great shopping in Allen, just one suburb north of Plano. Allen has the Allen Outlet Malls, the Village at Allen, and then Waters Creek Village. So all that being said, there's plenty of shopping and dining right there near Spring Creek Parkway for Timberbrook. Our next neighborhood in Plano will be the Lakeside on Preston. Located west of Preston, north of Parker, south of Spring Creek, and east of White Rock Creek, there have been 15 homes sold here the past year between $900,000 and $2.675 million dollars these are pretty big homes as well ranging anywhere from 3500 square feet to as high as 8700 square feet and they were built between the mid 90s and the mid 2000s these are incredibly architected homes with great landscaping lush lawns uh, plus this neighborhood has incredible amenities with a clubhouse parks trails pools creeks and much more white rock creek is a beautiful creek over here and you're right down the road from the shops at legacy this is also another family friendly community that feeds into brinkler elementary school renner middle school and shepton and plano west high schools you'll be using the tollways over here if you want to get to dallas but you're also right by parker and preston which are great for commuting all directions 
All right, so just two more neighborhoods to go. Our fourth best neighborhood in Plano is going to be Kings Ridge. Kings Ridge is located on the far northwest side of Plano and close to Frisco. You're right down the street from the Toyota headquarters and Frito-Lay. You're also close to the shops at Legacy as well. There are tons of retail and restaurant space nearby as you're also close to the San Rayburn Tollway. And similar to the Oak Point Park, Arbor Hills Nature Preserve is close by for outdoor enthusiasts on this side of town as well. This area is one of the closer neighborhoods to the San Rayburn Tollway, so you're gonna have quick access to the airports. Residents regard this area as a peaceful, friendly, and overall great location, along with beautiful ponds for a Plano community. There are two fountain ponds and tree-lined walkways. In 2017, it was actually identified by the Plano Magazine as the hidden gem of Plano. Not only that, but in 2016, the city of Plano named this neighborhood a platinum neighborhood. Home values in this neighborhood have appreciated very well in the last couple of years. In the the last year, there have been 18 sales in this community ranging from 610,000 to 2.25 million. The square footage of these homes range anywhere between 2,300 square feet to approximately 5,900 square feet and the HOAs range between $800 and $900 annually. Many of the homes in this neighborhood have that castle look, which I'm personally a sucker for, especially if it's on a corner lot. The homes here were built from the early 2000s to the late 2000 decade, and some of this neighborhood bleeds over into Louisville ISD, so you'll have Hicks Elementary, Arbor Creek Middle School, and Louisville Hebron High School as your likely school choices for this neighborhood. All right, so for our fifth and final best neighborhood in all of Plano, we're gonna go with Glen Hollow. Glen Hollow is located located just west of the Dallas North Tollway on the other side of Communications Parkway. This is another area where homes have appreciated very well since 2020. You're close to the Cinemark West Plano Theater, Kona Grill, Whiskey Cake Kitchen and Bar, Pinstack of Plano, and this neighborhood is also close to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve that we talked about with Kings Ridge. It's a pretty commercialized area with plenty of things to do, and over the last year, 14 homes have sold between 582,000 and 1.19 million, where square footage is ranging between 2,870 square feet and 4,600 square feet. This is another neighborhood that received platinum status by the city of Plano in 2017. This area is a low crime rate and is considered a very dog-friendly community. Also, the HOAs here host many block parties in the spring and summer. This is another neighborhood that has quick access to the tollway in case you need to make a quick 20 minute drive to Dallas. This is part of the Plano West School District. So you're gonna have Barksdale Elementary, Renner Middle School, and Shepton and Plano West High Schools. So guys, that's gonna close us out for today. Listen, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I get calls and emails every day from people looking to move around Dallas. So if you, a family member or a friend ever have questions about purchasing or selling a home in DFW, please give me a call, or hit me up on social media or visit my website. All of my info is included in the description below. Also, if you found value in this video and wanna stay updated on the DFW real estate market, some popular neighborhood vlogs, or just the Dallas lifestyle in general, please hit subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And I'll be posting videos every Thursday. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for letting me record that video. Thank you for letting me record that video without distracting me every five minutes. This guy.